especially in the first couple days of camp here like this? Yeah, you know what? Um, obviously, it's it's part of the business. It's what you sign up for, you know, when, when you sign. Um, but um, I can't wait to go to Seattle. Um, I've heard nothing but amazing things about the city, about the team, um, and we're trying to win. And I'm really, really excited about that. Um, looking forward to competing, and um, I can't wait to get over there. What, how did you get the news and kind of the... Yeah, so I was, I was in the cage with Joey, like every other year. Um, we were talking about TikTok and lefty homers. And um, Rick came in, said DB would like to talk to you, and we talked, and DB and Nick Crawl were in there, and um, yeah, that's it. Came as a surprise. Yeah, but like I said, I can't wait to get to Seattle. Um, this is uh, this has been a great place for me. Um, I grew up here. I'm thankful for everybody here in that city as well. So thank you. I'm assuming emotional for your teammates too. I mean, you guys kind of grew up together. For yeah. sure. Um, but like I said, it's part of it. They're going to be great here. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting to Seattle. Like I said, I can't wait. Um, it's an opportunity to win. It's an opportunity, late to, like I said, to win a division and play in the postseason. That's, you know, I've been looking forward to that opportunity for my whole life. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of a whirlwind, but like I said, it's, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. Um, everybody in Cincinnati, uh, I've always said this, but I mean it. It's, it's gonna hold a special place in my heart. I'll be there in the off season to pick up my daughter. I'll be there to spend time in the off season. I love that zoo. I love the coffee emporium. There's some other beautiful places there. So everybody going forward, um, I hope you fall in love with that city because it's a special place. And um, thank you to the Castellini family for making a 18 year old kid's dream come true by, by drafting me. Um, and thank you to everybody who had a, a piece of this along the way here. Um, there's so many people and thanking them one by one is going to be tough, but thank you to everybody. And um, I'm looking forward to this new chapter for me and my family. Is it hard to come so close to, you know, you guys made the playoffs in 20, yeah. 83 wins last year to see it being taken apart? Um, you know, that's not my decision. Um, there's some There's some guys here that you know, you want to talk about lifelong friendships and relationships. I've made them here, um, and I'm gonna. I take those. I'm gonna take those with me, and I, I'm gonna hold those close. Um, but it is what is it? It is what it is. Um, to be honest with you, I can't wait to get to Seattle. I've never been there, so I'm looking forward to uh, to fall in love to falling in love with it. And um, I believe you can catch a fish at the market, Pike Market. Is that is that Pike, the name? Pike. Pike. Yeah. Pike. I will know the name of it here shortly, no doubt. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting in that city and meeting everybody and being a part of something special there. On your way, Dream. Hey, you're good. Good, Mark. I don't know what to say, but uh, <laughs> what, when you heard the news, I'm sure you, when you came here today, you weren't expecting. Them. Yeah, I never expect this. I'm uh, like what I tell Nick Kroll and Davey was. Uh, I see my career in, in Cincinnati, but uh, at the same time, I understand this game. I understand the, this baseball like this, and you know, this is not my first time. Everybody know that. But, um, you know, my heart stay, stay in Cincinnati. And, you know, now I, I, now I represent Mariners, Seattle, and I will do my best for them now. Like, like I do everything like I did in Cincinnati. You know, like I tell you, it's, it's not easy, it's tough, but I understand. I know this game is like that. It is what it is. And, you know, I feel so grateful. So, I mean, I, my family and I, we appreciate everything the Cincinnati Red do for me, the Cincinnati city, the Queen city do it for me. and. You know everything I do for Cincinnati did it from from my heart, and and I keep I keep my Cincinnati in the front, uh, in the bottom of my heart, and and you know right now my I I, I don't know what I say, but I, what I feel in my heart is I appreciate everything. I thank you 
thanks at Cincinnati Rex. Thank you, you guys here around me. You guys always support my career, always support my seasons, you know, and, and, and I appreciate that a lot. Now I got a new opportunity to go to Seattle and do my best and, and you know, and make a playoff and, and win in the ring for, the, for Seattle now. And I just want to let you guys know that I love everything in Cincinnati. My 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 first daughter born in, in Cincinnati, so Cincinnati in my heart. So thank you guys so much and see you in the ballpark. <laughs> Goodbyes only. Never forget that. So have a great day. So have a good season. Wish everybody the best. And that's all I have. Just when you're talking to your teammates, what was it like afterwards? Yeah. You know, man. The, I mean, the first, the one of the first teammates that I talked with, with Joy. You know, Joy and I, we spent on lots of years in Cincinnati, and, and, and he just gave me the the big hug and wish me the the best in Seattle. To send to him. You know, everybody. I would miss everybody. They they miss me. They are gonna miss me. I know that they they. I feel that when when I say bye to them, I feel that and. You know, like I tell them, keep going, go forward, and see what happened there in the season. Is there an added level of difficulty because you had a winning season last year, you had a lot of the same pieces back? You know, man, but uh, yeah, it, it, everything is hard right now for me. Everything is hard, nothing is easy. It's, you know, I left, I, I would left my, my, my good, good vibes, my good moments in, in Cincinnati. But, uh, you know, I stay in, I mean, it's, different now i gotta go to uh, new city new team do my best and but I, like I, I always say we understand i understand this game and and like this maybe i finish here who knows <laughs> <laughs> so but now yeah i go to seattle i will do my best and you know guys thank you so much that's all i have see trades do you expect that to manifest before this season starts like yeah i mean we we've been making calls all uh you know, once this got finalized, we started making calls with uh, a lot of agents uh, and seeing where everyone is. So is it safe to say payroll isn't going further down? Like it's not a... No, no, the, no, no. Th this, this was, th again, this wasn't a, this wasn't just a payroll move. This was a move that we looked at as a, a, a from a, from a future standpoint. And we also looked at it as a, a move to bring back some talent right now. You know, we really... I think Brandon Williamson is going to be on this club. The, the player to be named later is, is also a player we like, so um, it's not just a, a throw in there. Um, we just we have a couple months to be able to scout a couple a group of players, and you know uh, before we, we choose one. So we're excited about doing the deal. It, it also opens up the payroll flexibility, and we're going to have to figure out where where we can get uh, better. By saying that, does that mean that you don't have to make any more trades? Like you obviously have some other people that other teams like. Does that mean you don't have to make more trades to cut payroll? Yeah, like I've said before, we're we're we, we're we're not making trade. We didn't make trades because we have to. We're making trades because we think it's best for our long term uh, outlook of this of uh, this organization and the sustainability of where we're going. What would you say to like some people see it as a rebuild? You lost Sonny Gray. Winker, Suarez, I mean, that's three of your longest tenured players. I understood. We still have some players in Castillo and Mali that have been anchors in our rotation. Uh, we still have, you know, a handful of quality bullpen pitchers. Uh, we still have Tyler Stevenson as our catcher. India won the rookie of the year. Joey's at first. I, I mean, there's, we're still excited about players on this team. This, this isn't a, uh, that we're, we're not trying to rebuild here. We're trying to be the best team we can be in 22, but also, you know, set ourselves up for long-term success and sustainability. The lineup in particular, most of your top prospects position players are like, didn't play above a ball last season. So what's the best way to accelerate getting better position players in your lineup once you lose Winker and Suarez? Um, yeah, we're going to work on the free agent market to see what, what's out there. Uh, if you look at the prospects, they're on their timetable, right? They, we, we're not going to rush prospects just because we have holes at the major league level. We have to make sure that we're doing the best we can to develop our prospects and make them the best players they can be. If it's taking one year at a time, if it's jumping half a level, then that's that, then then so be it. But we've got to make sure that we're doing what's best for those for those for those players and maximizing the development and uh, the development for them to make sure that at the big league level they're going to be the best players they can be.